Good morning, everyone. Mm. Thank you for coming. How are you today? Anyone has anything to say? Complain, comment, praise. Okay. Um, we uh, are. Uh, we are going to have a Medicine Master Buddha Repentance tomorrow here at Gold Forest because uh, DTT Dharma Seed is still not finished yet. Uh, it's, it, it like drags on and on and on. Uh, but um, it, uh, we're nearing the end, so we're so excited that uh, we are able to uh, have full use of DTT uh, during the, um, uh, uh, the coming months, especially during uh, the, uh, the cheese, winter cheese. All right. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. If uh, you have no questions, we will, since we'll be uh, real busy uh, doing the, the cheese, uh, I can continue discussing the song enlightenment here if you wish unless you like me to discuss anything at all. Yes, sir, number one. Um, thank you, Master Amitofo. Um, yeah, so I have realized that every time I'm meditating, I don't have expectations like I'm thinking, uh, like I'm actively thinking I want to experience something, but it is true that uh, I have like expectations, like very subtle, subtle. Like for example, if I keep reciting Amitofo and after a while nothing happens, or I stop, I don't stop feeling pain, it's like I get a little disappointed. Mm -hmm. So how can I avoid having those expectations? Because yeah. it's not like I'm th I think about them, but at the end I get disappointed. How can you stop being so petty? In other words, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to deal with it because I never had that problem. Anyone can help out? Any one of you who's petty? And how did you overcome it? Or none of you has overcome your pettiness? Speak up, people. His question is very simple. He says, Every time I meditate, I, uh, I often wonder why nothing is happening to me. <laughs> why Master keeps on talking about good things happening, happening to others, but not to me. I don't see anything. I don't feel nothing. Right? So why do I bother meditating, ultimately? Yes? Yeah, but it's not like I think about it. I try not to think about it, but when I'm meditating, it's like, yeah, I get disappointed. So, so I think it's because uh, deep down I'm thinking about it. Okay, and that's reasonable. I'm sure she had that problem before. Some people ask her before, how come I feel nothing? Thank you so much. Hmm? What do you do? I mean, what, how, how can you help people like him who is so uh, short-sighted? A Di Đạo Phật, trước nhất là con rất là phục Rachel bởi vì cậu này có những cái câu hỏi rất là thiệt thà. Những cái xấu của cậu là cậu đem ra câu hỏi hết, không có che. Đó là con rất là phục người thành thật. Right. <clears throat> I'm not sure we should translate this. But go ahead, Hong, translate. Amitofo, Master, first of all, I was very intrigued with natural because he asked a lot of questions that's actually very truthful to himself. Um, he is not um, afraid or he, do he doesn't feel ashamed to bring those questions out and not cover it up. Yeah. Yeah. Con xin góp ý để về cái câu hỏi của Rachel. 
okay. là khi mà mình tu hoặc là ngồi thiền hoặc tụng kinh hoặc niệm phật mà mình cứ muốn là được cái này được cái kia thì kết quả luôn luôn là không được gì hết uh, so i would like to offer my opinion in regards to his question is that uh, when we are cultivating whether uh, sitting meditation or uh, recite a sutra or recite a buddha name if we always have a seeking mind a desire that we want this and we want that to happen at the end the result you will not get anything bởi vì khi mình tu mà mình muốn cái này muốn cái kia là mình tu với cái tinh thần trao đổi và mua bán cái đó là cái pháp thế gian mình không có thể nào mà từ cái pháp thế gian mình ôm như vậy mà mình muốn được cái pháp xuất thế gian because when you you are cultivating uh, the dharma uh, with the mind the spirit of um, trao đổi exchange for things is like you know, you're selling uh, and gaining something out of it so this is the worldly dharma however um, because you cannot use that worldly dharma to actually gain the um, transcendental dharma in that way và theo kinh nghiệm của con là cái chuyện đó là chuyện bình thường tại vì mình là phạm phu nhưng mà để đối trị từ 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 đó thì mình cứ chuyên tâm uh, tu hành theo chùa theo đại chúng và khi vọng tưởng như thế khởi lên thì mình nên thầm thầm trì chú và niệm phật rồi một thời gian từ từ cái bệnh đó nó sẽ bớt đi So uh, based on my experience, this happened very uh, normal because we are um, our ordinary people. We live in a mundane life, life. So therefore, in order to um, deal with this problem, you just gradually try your best to be single-minded, um, cultivate in accord with uh, the temple and with uh, the great assembly. And when those false thoughts arise, uh, you try your best uh, to uh, recite um, mantra silently, and then gradually this problem will go away. A Di Đà Phật, xin các bạn đạo vui lòng góp ý thêm và xin thầy chỉ dạy thêm cho chúng con. Amitabha, uh, please, uh, all of our cult cultivator. Uh, please help him out and uh, master please kindly uh, teach and guide us more about this okay thank you for your input anyone else would like to uh, say anything add to this yes way mountain Thank you, Master. Uh, buenos dias, Nacho. Como estas? Bien? Okay. Um, I, I'm also very thankful for your question. Um, I'm also petty. I've definitely not overcome it. I think the first step is you have to acknowledge that you're petty. Um, I just spent a week uh, traveling uh, to see my mom uh, and spent a lot of time around non-cultivators. And something I can tell you with certainty, no one I spent time around felt nothing. No one I spent time around was at ease. And the perspective I would share with you is that if you're feeling nothing, Keep in mind, 
you're not feeling afflicted, you're not feeling sad, you're not feeling anxious. It's a tremendous blessing to feel nothing, to feel bored. It's a really good thing. Most people that I hung out with last week won't ever know that feeling. So I just wanted to share that perspective with you. Whoa. We'll never know that feeling? Are you sure? There's... <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of ways to experience relief, right? More and more legal ways as this country progresses <laughs> or devolves. But I think uh, I felt the same thing you felt, Nacho, and I still feel it. I'll say, you know, uh, when does the enlightenment bell go off? And I feel, you know, bliss or something like that. And uh, I would encourage you to appreciate the nothing that you feel. It's a tremendous blessing. Well, so you hang around with people who are pretty unhappy. How does it make you feel? Happy? <laughs> <laughs> Master, it really makes me appreciate grounding myself with Chan. Yeah, and I share it with, uh, and I, I concur with that. Everywhere I go, I, I see what he's describing. People are so afflicted, so worked up over little things, okay? Yeah, so, yes, definitely. Thank you for your input. Anyone else? No one? Yes, Evan. I'm sure you must have experienced this before. You sit there and say, how come I feel nothing? Nothing's happening to me. Has been like a week already. The master says this is a very fast, fast training program. <laughs> they all become enlightened. <laughs> yeah. Yes, seven. Um, I don't really have a good answer. Uh, when I first started. Um, I feel the progress of people, co-cultivators, is not as fast as today. Today is people progress so fast. Uh, it, it was so much faster than like when I first started four or five years ago. Um, but um, I listened to some of the questions that Nacho asked in the past, including this one. Um, to me, it sounds like Nacho, you. Um, have very high expectations when you do things. Um, so it, uh, it seems like a pattern to me. And uh, um, I feel that uh, um, this is something worth looking into yourself to figure out where does that kind of thinking pattern come from? Why does thoughts like that keep coming up? Okay, his question is not so much why it keeps them coming up. His question is, it comes up and what do I do with it? I'm so ashamed to admit it, it keeps on coming up. <laughs> Even after all this time, after this uh, past year or so, it still comes up. Yes? So what's the matter with me? Anyone else? What is it? You sit there and expect Master to take care, of, fix everything, explain everything to you? He said, oh, don't worry, Master will explain. He has a good explanation. Don't worry, he has an answer. You know, he'll fix it. God, <laughs> what is it with you? 
Well, I don't feel like fixing it today. How's that? <laughs> because you're too petty. I don't deal with petty people. <laughs> Anyone else has any ideas, suggestions? Does anyone else care at all? Hmm? It's a macho natural problem, so it's not yours. You know, you wouldn't have the same problem. <laughs> yeah? What happened to do with Jesus? Jesus said, uh, he, did he make it? Yeah, he's, in, he's a WMT. Do you have the same problem, Jesus? <laughs> Welcome, by the way, to WMT. Glad you thank made you, it. Master. Uh, thank you, Master. Um, well, uh, it's not the same problem for me. It's a matter of faith. If you believe that uh, what uh, your good Northern advisor says to you, then you keep working at it, and maybe you are the worst in the, in the group. It doesn't matter. It yeah, helps matter. me to be humble. Mm, humble. Uh, and I okay. keep doing. Keep doing it, okay? And does it matter, right? Yes. So it says, if these thoughts come up, does it matter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't pay attention to, to these thoughts. I, I think it's normal. Does it's it happen really, to you? The question, does it happen to it's you? A, it's, a, it's a motivation, because Motiv I think I must keep, I must work harder. Because so you, you motivate yourself to say, okay, so I have, still have these thoughts, I must work harder. Yes? Yes. His question is, how do I work, uh, how, how, do I work how do I make these things go away, these thoughts go away faster? Because mm -hmm. as uh, someone just said uh, recently, he said, people are progressing so fast compared to five years ago. It's true. So you guys are so fast nowadays, it's scary because uh, 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 we feel like we don't have a whole lot left to teach you. <laughs> yeah? Huh. You have to ask you to slow down a little because <laughs> I'm getting old, I'm slowing down. Yeah? Okay, so the question is how does he make it go away? Or well, if I think if you if you try to fight your thoughts, you you will always lose because this is generating more thoughts. And so, uh, if you t keep thinking on how do I uh, get rid of it, then uh, it's more difficult. I just accept it. It comes. It doesn't matter. I have the, my screen is all now uh, purple. Oh, thank you very much. What happened to you, uh, Jesus? You look uh, health healthier. Like a little bit happy that you got away from your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, I really don't know. I just followed, followed your advice and keep reciting the whole day. <laughs> Do you feel different? I look at you and say, what happened to you? I haven't seen you for months. So now I look at you and say, wow, you are healthier. What did you do? What, what drugs have you been taking? Well, I kept reciting uh, 42 hands and eyes and the morning ceremony is what I did. So does everyone else. What else is your secret, amigo? Uh, I should ask the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, I don't know. He's what? I should ask Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, I, I, I self don't, don't know what, what happened. No. Oh, okay. DTT answer. We have an answer. Thank you for your input. Mm. Bueno. Master, can you hear? From DTT? Yeah, we know. We recognize there's only one man there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that I, I think uh, in my experience, um, natural, I, I feel like the feeling of being petty, it happened to me like every day too. 
you know, I do the work and still mess up things and mess up ceremony, things like that. Waking up late, I feel bad too. But that even I, after I did it happen and I, I feel bad that talk happened in my mind. Yeah, but still have to continue to do the work though. Just, just keep doing it and and uh, don't give up. And that I think that the time uh, we have to be tested with our passion in practice. And sometimes in the past I feel when the time it uh, there's some kind of I think that we don't feel anything because there's uh, obstruction in the mind in the body. And sometimes the obstruction is uh, overwhelming. You you cannot overcome by yourself. So I have you have to look for the help from your master or other uh, variable. I think that's my opinion. Thank you, Master. So what did he say again? <laughs> What's his point again? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, young Abbot, you have to make your point more, more clear, okay? Uh, yeah, I see, I see where you're going, but uh, your message is not clear. It has to be a lot clearer. This is the English we're using, not Vietnamese. Yes, yeah. sir. Four. Um, I'm for um, A natural question is, uh, I think, is... Uh, it's very common. It uh, happen, uh, happened to me also. And I think that uh, it may happen to uh, everybody uh, when they uh, cultivate. That uh, the, the nature of our mind it is that uh, it uh, always looking for something new. Uh, before you learn it, it's very exciting and learn something. And then after a while, when you, you think you have done it, then it try to look for something else. Uh, when you know how to sit, then um, first it's very excited, and you do that, and after a while you said, why is nothing's happened? You know, that, that's the nature of our, our false thinking mind, and uh, you have to work hard to overcome it. It's the same when, you, uh, when I resign mantra. Um, I learn new mantra, it's very excited, and then I resign, I learn it, and then after a while you get bored and then, and then want to learn something else. So that's the pattern of, of, the, of our mind. And um, uh, in, in my case, I, I keep doing it, and then after a while it looks like uh, the, the um, boringness, it uh, went away, and then uh, it's part of, our, our, of my practice. And uh, you learn and you do things, and uh, the, the Sometimes you feel really good, and other times you feel very boring. You just recognize the pattern, but um, in my case, I keep doing it, and it's, it's part of the practice. Okay, and you, uh, your Chinese group, I'm sure, must have uh, some petty people. <laughs> they never ask you this question. Hmm? Yeah. They did they ask do. a question. Yeah. It's more about recognizing that you. what he said, there was a key there. He says he always can't help feeling disappointed in the end. Mm -hmm. It's about recognizing that um, he always falls into that thoughts that when he doesn't get what he expects, he gets disappointed. <laughs> okay. And then learn to manage that and drop the disappointments. So don't be disappointed? Yes, uh, okay, yeah, I'm not making, making progress. I should not be disappointed. In a way, you shouldn't be, but he can't help it. But his question is, can I keep on making progress? And I... And, 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 and not be disappointed, not, not having thoughts of disappointment. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't? Uh, okay. Anyone else? Chinese technology, Vietnamese technology, uh, Spanish technology, white face technology. How interesting. 
How about Catholic technology? Sister Victorina, do you have such thoughts, such petty thoughts? Good morning, Master. Of course, I have so many petty, petty, horrible, nasty, boring thoughts. Oh, eh. how exciting. <laughs> but you know, uh, Nacho, it's just part of the landscape of cultivation. You know, there's always going to be someone who you aspire, and you say, wow, they're up there. I want to get there. I, I, want to, I want to be able to get to that bodhisattva level. Sure. I want to get there. Sure. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not there, so I, I keep trying. You know, I, and, and I just keep trying, I keep trying, I keep trying, I keep trying. And I take a deep breath, and I say, okay, I'm going to have a donut. And I'll eat a donut, and then I'll have coffee, and then, okay, okay, I'm going to try again. And then I start the next day, <laughs> and I try again. So what else is new? It sounds pretty self-indulgent. Yes, yes. Oh, I've done the suffering part already. <laughs> suffer, suffer, suffer. I suffered enough. Don't eat this. Basically, Don't do yeah, that. I do, Don't I do suffered this. enough already. Enough is enough. <laughs> Sometimes okay, you need okay, to change okay. it up a little. I hear you. I Sometimes hear you. you have to change it up. Okay. You know, okay, get a break, okay. and then okay. you go back into it again, and then you just keep going. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's uh, share some wisdom there from, uh, from a lady who's kind of self indulgent. Yes, way mountain. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. oh, Master, I just wanted to say that uh, every time that happened, I hope that he would keep enduring it. And the moment that he feels it that way is that he's cultivating, he's already improved when he's trying to prolong that and not giving up. That is improvement to me. Okay. Anyone else? Hmm, okay. Hmm. Well, uh, it's normal to be disappointed. Okay, and because the nature uh, of young people like you, smart people like you, uh, people who are good in, are, are competent, will always be disappointed. You always feel you could be better. Yes, you could have more, you could do more. And that's normal. This is your nature. That's all. Okay. And so to quote someone who has been designated as the expert, how to handle it is uh, those errant thoughts, those thoughts of disappointment, the thoughts of expectation based on your expectations will disappear eventually and naturally. It's the, he's the expert. But on the other hand, the question is how can I make them go away a lot faster? Well, it will happen eventually. <laughs> see, I had the, see, we have the same issue. I ask him, how come I have no spiritual penetration? Meaning, can, how can I have my, you know, my spiritual powers very quickly? He said, oh, well, it happened naturally, man. Eventually. <laughs> so same thing. You want them, them to go away quickly? But naturally, eventually. Yeah? Yes, sir, seven. Um, can, you, can you do better than that? Remember, this is the patriarch. Okay. Um, well, since I'm nobody, 
I can uh, I can try. <laughs> try um, by all means. This is America. We don't we don't have any reverence. <laughs> you don't need to be reverent. And we all have to earn our reverence, the respect that we deserve. It's earned every day. Yes, sir. And now you can try to do long sits. Um, <laughs> so. One, one way to experience the thoughts dying down is uh, to enter samadhi by doing long sits. Mm. Uh, mm. Another way I feel you can try is to, um, to give your mind a task that is very difficult to complete. So for instance, you can try to force yourself to, to recite Buddha's name very, very fast. To, to basically the limit that you can recite. And that will mm, occupy all the resource that your mind have. And then the four thoughts, it, it's uh, harder for your mind to generate more four thoughts. And when it does, it, it interrupts your, your uh, recitation. So now you know, and you quickly come back to your recitation. So you can use more force to kill your um, uh, for thinking by by doing something like that, by reciting very quickly, for instance. So his advice is unnaturally and uneventually. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yes? I, I'm just curious, have you tried it, Ray? Uh, I recently tried, I recently created a, a, a soundtrack of very fast beats and then I recite to it. And I try to, like basically I have like the beats going faster and faster. So uh, I can see my false thoughts more and more clearly when I recite to a very fast beat. Excellent, very good, you can try that. Yes, you too. Excellent, good points. I cannot disagree. Not, it doesn't mean I agree, but I cannot disagree. <laughs> Yes, you too. Uh, Master, I have comments in regards to this, uh, what we're talking about now, and then I have some additional questions uh, of something of a different nature. Yes. So I'll, I'll go and talk and give the comments right now yes. about this. So Din Tai says, having a good knowing advisor to repent to is a good practice to alleviate the suffering that comes with these thoughts. Jane Clymer says, no ego, no pettiness. Okay. Christopher says, consistent cultivation may not immediately bring spiritual powers like the six penetrations, but the way I recognize progress is that serendipitous events would happen to me everywhere I go. And I'd feel calmer in stressful situations and happier. And okay. these are in, in response to Nacho's questions. Okay. And what's the question? The next question? Oh, okay. I have two questions. Um, Spook uh, has a friend with her, a Dr. P. PhD. Question about technique. Should I let my navel out all the way when I'm looking at my navel? <laughs> let the navel out all the way, meaning let it inflate? I guess. Maybe okay. relaxing the stomach, just let the navel out all the way. Okay. Not sure. And next question. Next question is from Katrina Y. Yeah. Amitabha Master, this is Katrina. I have been attending Venerable XX class for almost 12 months. In September, I visited WMT for the relic exhibit and fasted for three days. My goal is to sit for three hours on multiple occasions before attending the Fo Chi and Chan Chi, aiming to eventually sit for as long as five hours. Today, I sat for 117 minutes 
rested for four minutes, and then I sat for another 55 minutes. The pain in my left leg, especially the ankle, was unbearable. At one point, I hit my head on the table. Strangely, the harder I hit my head, the more relief I felt inside. I even found a twisted sense of pleasure in this pain. However, I know it's not healthy to harm my body. My question is, what should I do when this urge arises? Should I resist the urge and do nothing to help me sit longer? What do I do when? Just repeat the question. My question is, what should I do when this urge to hurt herself arises? Should I resi resist the urge and do nothing to help me sit longer? It depends how much pleasure you have from hurting yourself. <clears throat> Never mind, it's not supposed to be funny. Okay. Uh, uh, let me answer the last two questions first because it's easier. Uh, and then we go back to the original question. Okay. First, uh, first question is, can I, shall I lose the, uh, the, the breathing? Can I let the, uh, the uh, navel out or, or let it loose? Uh, just don't force it. Whatever you do, uh, just watch it. Okay, uh, don't have to worry about it going out or going in. Uh, just, uh, just, um, just breathe. Okay, look at your navel and and uh, and breathe. That's all. Do it naturally. Don't need to force it. You can force it. It's okay too. Either way is okay. I prefer to be natural. Okay, but at times when you are scattered, you may want to follow it more. And so that either way it works, okay? It doesn't matter. Uh, the other one, second question is, uh, no, don't hurt yourself, okay? Uh, and don't sue me. <laughs> uh, you, should, you should not, you should refrain from hurting yourself. Stay away from, from, uh, from uh, uh, place things that you can hit yourself against when you meditate. Okay, uh, it don't, don't, uh, absolutely do not hurt yourself. Mm. And if it's uh, too painful, then rest until it's, uh, until it's fully recovered before you do it again. Uh, there's no point in punishing yourself, in harming your body. That's not the middle way. Okay, uh, you are a lay person. You have uh, obligations, like going to work and so forth, and therefore you need to, uh, be, to, to be moderate. Don't overdo it, okay? I would push myself. The, the rule of thumb nowadays is that I want you to push. If you wish to push, push yourself, maybe in her case, uh, 10, 15 minutes more each time. Maximum, that's it. But rest until you fully recover. Okay? And then you can push yourself again. Take your time, there's no rush. No. All right? You're still young, there's no hurry at all. It's not like uh, older people who are running out of time. Then it's different. Okay? Yeah. All right, original question. Your answers, your input is pretty good. It shows your cross-section of experiences you went through. Uh, and uh, I don't have a whole lot to add because they're pretty comprehensive, uh, pretty good, uh, and pretty creative uh, ways to fix it or, or to look at it. Uh, very, very good. I'm impressed. I told you, I don't have a whole lot to teach you anymore. So... Uh, 
Let me say a few more things and then I stop. Okay. Um, wait a minute. I still have 20 minutes. Anyone else has questions? <laughs> uh, uh, my answer can be long or short depending on how much time I have. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, seriously. Yeah. How can you be so petty? Huh? Uh, it's normal for smart people to be this way. And therefore, we instructors, we uh, teachers of Chan need to be prepared for this. Okay? People have expectations when they come to us. Yeah? <laughs> they don't say anything, but they do have expectations. <laughs> He's the first one to say, I do have expectations. <laughs> Deal with it. Uh, but some others have expectations, but they don't say anything. They just watch and see what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah? Ah, that's different than men and women. Uh, okay? So it's perfectly normal to have expectations. Yeah. And there actually are the incentives for you well, to well, make progress. Actually, the reason you have expectations is because you are attached to something very good, making progress. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with saying, how come I'm not feeling anything? How come I'm not progressing when you know, my neighbor is enlightened already. <laughs> After half an hour, huh? <laughs> what's wrong with me? <laughs> I thought I was superior, but apparently I'm not. What is the matter with me? Huh? Uh, and so it's natural. It's natural to have uh, to to have uh, to feel disappointed, uh, to want more. It's a natural process for smart people. Oh. And so the question is, how do I make it go away? Mm. Yes? Mm. You make it go away uh, by two things. Number one, progress. Hey, man, <laughs> make progress. Then you no longer ask yourself, how come I'm not progressing? Just make progress. I don't know how, but just make progress. Okay? Whatever it takes, make progress. And so, uh, since we're a small community, you have people here who are better than you, and ask them, you know, did you have this problem before? How did you make progress? Ask around, okay? Uh, I'm so removed from it, <laughs> because I deal with bigger issues now. <laughs> but we have plenty of people you have plenty of people who are slightly better than you, even better than that, and even better than that, even better than that. So you have a wide spectrum of people who are much more skilled than you are. This is a fact. This is what's so great about it, is that, is that we have a community of people practicing together and actually at various levels, okay, and progressing at different rates as well. It's kind of cool to see it, okay? Some people will go very fast and then they stabilize and so forth. And so the question still goes back to, if I want to go faster, okay, if I want to stop these petty thoughts from arising, mm. uh, and again, the answer is normal to demand of yourself. You say, how come I'm, I'm not? That's a normal nature. Uh, that's how you, that's how you wire. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, and you want it to go away? And uh, we suggest it, just make progress. It goes away. Okay? And the comforting thing is that, is that if you hang in there and you continue to do what you're doing because Remember, we take it personally that you are not making progress. Hmm? It's not just you. Hmm? 
for us. Okay, I'm in, I'm imparting this value system in my left form people, disciples, left form disciples. I want them to learn how to help you progress faster and go further. That's their challenge. They need to learn how to do it, figure out how to do it. That includes me as well, for all of you. So I do take it personally that you're not making progress. Just because I don't say anything doesn't mean I'm ignoring it. Hmm? So believe <laughs> that is happening. Okay? First of all, it would help you calm down. He says, I don't need to worry. Yes, it's normal that for me to, be, to expect to go faster, but it's happening. Why? Because it happened to others. And look around you. They're there, they're better than you, not because they're smarter than you. Okay? Not necessarily. Some are have more challenges than you, and yet they still enlighten? Seriously? <laughs> Never mind. Okay? So, do you see, uh, it's possible it happened to others who are clearly not as bright as you are, okay? Not as accomplished as you are. So, the process is is, is, doesn't discriminate. It's a matter of time. That's why the answer is very good. Eventually and naturally it's going to happen. But then, how do you make it faster? Is your question, yeah? Huh. Why are some people higher than you get there faster than you? Why is that? Talk to them. Ask them. What did you do differently? Hmm? What did you do? What's your story? Be respectful. Don't be jealous. I don't know why you're so good. No, just come over and talk to them. Say, hey, can I buy you a cup of coffee? And, uh, can we, you know, uh, kiss up to them a little bit. And, <laughs> and ask, and ask. Will you share with me your experience? Because Master says, you are four-stage Ahat. How did you get there? How long did it take you? Hmm? What's your secret? I heard you, you, you butt hat, you butt hat with him. How come he didn't kick you out? <laughs> and so forth. You know, it, it's fascinating all these individual experiences. But one thing though, I have a YouTube question, so I need to wrap this up. <laughs> one thing though, okay, is that for certain teaching, you guys want to take advantage of certain teaching. Hmm? Number one, you have to hang in there. You quit, it's your problem. Hmm? Because you remember, eventually, naturally, remember? That is, that's holds true. If you quit, it's not going to happen naturally anymore or eventually anymore. You see? So you don't quit. That's, oh, you left early last night. Why did you leave last night again? <laughs> huh? You remember last night's lesson in, in, the, in the prologue is that you don't quit. How did it come about? I don't remember the context. But there's a reason 
for you to unfold your wisdom, one requirement for you to unfold your wisdom is you don't quit. No matter what. Okay? Yeah. And so, so, for you to take advantage of this certain teaching, because this is what we do. This is not Chinese technology. This is American technology. My master, my Chinese master, did not teach his pupils, did not give them certain teaching, did not give me certain teaching. Okay? Yeah. And therefore, therefore, in order for you to take, that's why his successor doesn't deem it necessary for him to announce himself so that he can give people certain teaching. Because it takes a teacher to give you a certain teaching. You're not going to read it yourself. Okay? So, the certain teaching requires you not to quit, to hang in there. Because it could happen any moment. Especially when you're just about to quit. <laughs> yeah? You can't take it anymore. And number two, why is it easy for some people who don't have to struggle, who don't have to be yelled at, who doesn't have to be abused by master? Difference is the blessings mature, meaning they have blessings. So, point number two, get more blessings. Stop. Bitching, stop whining, why not me, why not me, why not me? Okay? That's all. Does it help? Okay, you too. Thank you, Master. Uh, this is a comment from Spook Water and Dr. P, PhD. I'm also, whenever unpleasant thoughts come up, reciting Buddha's names with the breath. Krishna, Buddha, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. Krishna, Buddha, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. Reminds me of uh, yesterday I had lunch with uh, my disciples and uh, the son has a friend and he adores. Her name is Abby. And I thought, the thought crossed my mind. I said, you should, he should have two more friends okay, so that they can hang out together. Norm and L. So I would like him to find two more friends. Uh, they go by the name Norm and L. Abby Normal. <laughs> Abby, yeah, it's a young Frankenstein movie joke. <laughs> because I don't know if you've seen the movie. Uh, they they uh, um, uh, after after Dr. Frankenstein um, brought life, gave life to uh, Frankenstein. Frankenstein happened to be kind of uh, stupid, <laughs> mentally retarded. <laughs> so he asked his assistant, uh, the guy who has these eyes, you know, his beautiful eyes. Yeah, and he's who's dead already. That actor is dead already. So he asked him. Where do you get the brains for, for Ken Frankenstein? He said, oh, I went to, uh, to the lab as you told me. And I said, yeah. And, uh, and uh, that, that lab? I said, yeah, absolutely a lab. So show me where you, you, you took it. Uh, uh, so he, he, sh he brought doctor, the doctor, doc, Dr. Frankenstein to the, uh, the jar where they kept the brains, okay, where they kept the various brain species, uh, brain specimens. And the, the brain here, 
that says abnormal, <laughs> abnormal. <laughs> And that's why Frankenstein is kind of <laughs> uh, so I thought that his this boy should hang out with friends like that would be <laughs> never mind um, any more questions hmm. okay speak up you have questions speak up we, because we're all learning from your experiences and and uh, also, uh, also, uh, you, uh, you see, uh, you're learning how to address those questions as well. Mm. All right. Any final questions or comments? I still have two more minutes. Yes, macho nacho. Um, yeah, but with the things, with the, with the blessings, my problem is that I think I will get like obsessed with the blessings or like be too greedy with them. What? Like, like if I start thinking I want to get more blessings, for example, uh, wouldn't I be being like greedy with the blessings? Would you be what? Greedy. Greedy? greedy? Yeah. Yeah, like just doing things for the blessings, for example. Yeah, so uh. what's wrong being greedy for more blessings? And yeah, normally I like to do... That's good. nothing uh. compared, compared to being greedy for enlightenment. Oh, okay. <laughs> you think you can become enlightened without being greedy for it? And here you just want to be greedy for blessings. <laughs> That's nothing, man. Huh? Anyone else? Okay, and we stop here. And let's go have lunch. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>